Hi, my troublesomes. It's Miracle, and welcome back to my Dove Miracle. <laughs> I'm so happy you guys decided to join me today. And honey, we are doing what we do best, and that is minding other people's business. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a little comfort pillow. Go ahead and pour yourself a little drinky drink, honey, because I got the hot cocoa for you. Babes, sweethearts, circus freaks of the night, welcome back to my channel. And today, as you probably could tell by this intro, we are talking about that lovely, lovely letter that Shane Dawson has graced us with when exiting the beauty community. Now, if you guys don't know the full-on scoop, to be honest with you, this video is not really about that, but just to give you a quick little run through, essentially Shane and Jeffree Star were trending yesterday and unfortunately not trending for the reasons that they had hoped. Actually yesterday there was a restock of both the conspiracy palettes along with the shade put it back. In addition to that, we also saw that the cremated palette also saw a restock. But as previously iterated, they were not trending for those reasons. In actuality, they were trending because people were trying to cancel them. So why is our dear friend Shane Dawson running away? Well, in actuality, he explains it to us and this is what he had to say. Welcome to the circus. My final thoughts on the beauty world. A few questions that I have been getting lately. One, did I know that she was thinking about making a video? Yes. Two, did I tell her to make a video? No. Three, did I have any involvement in the video? No. Four, did I orchestrate it? No. Five, did I need that kind of drama to make a good series? No. Six, have I ever tried to ruin a career or make someone look bad in my 15 years on YouTube? No. Seven, do I have a track record of getting into drama with people or having fights with other YouTubers? No. Eight, Am I innocent and don't have a huge anxiety provoking regrets about how I could have helped everyone handle everything better? No, I had a pit in my stomach since it all happened. Now on to my final thoughts on the beauty world and my experience in it. The Conspiracy Palette was one of the best experiences of my life. The series with Jeffrey changed my life, changed me as a person. It helped me to be more confident and stand up for myself, which I've always been bad at. So to honor the series and what I've learned from it, I'm going to say this. The beauty gurus who are always involved in scandals are all the fucking same. They are all attention-seeking, game-playing, egocentric, narcissistic, vengeful, two-faced, ticking time bombs ready to explode. And I'm over it! Yes, they are talented, creative, smart, and love makeup. But they also joined a side of the internet that is obsessed with looks, money, power, fame, screenshots, and subtweets, releasing private texts, voice memos, emails, and other receipts as a way to paint yourself in a particular light or someone else in a bad light is weird to me, and I will never engage in that. That is a game they know how to play well, and I would rather eat my own hands off than play it. Yes, Jeffrey is in that list of dramatic gurus, and he would admit that. And he will always be family to me, and I love him despite those characteristics. He's very aware of the fact that I don't agree with many of the ways he approaches situations, and I have been honest with him about needing to make some changes. But as for being in the beauty world, I can't take the drama anymore, and it's not how I'm wired, so I'm out. It's draining, exhausting, depressing, and sometimes amazing, but for me, the amazing is outweighed by the bad. I can't have a pit in my stomach every day waiting for the next scandal or the next exposed video. It's going to give me health issues and I'm done caring about it anymore. I never been involved in drama with any other YouTube ever. And the second I decide to do a beauty series, boom, I'm in the hurricane. So did I plan Dramageddon? Are you serious? No! Do people in the YouTube world come to me like a grandpa and tell me their problems and ask me for advice? Yes. Is it easy for me to get wrapped up in something potentially toxic if I think someone I love is hurting or upset? Yes. It's an issue I need to work on and have been working on. When she told me how upset she was in person, I had the same reaction the world did when they saw her video. 
I felt awful for her and she seemed broken. So I try to be there for her and be someone she could talk to about it. So, was I shocked that she decided to make a video? No. Was I shocked that Tati read his ass for fucking filth? Yes, I wasn't acting. I didn't know it was gonna be that intense. Looking back, I still believe her on a lot of what she said and I believe she felt it was what she needed to do at the time. Does she regret it? Probably. Does it mean we should see James as some poor, innocent, sweet angel? No, don't get it twisted. Him and Jeffrey have always been on the top of the dramatic guru list, and I mean that with love. Did I warn James about the video? No, why? For reasons that I will never discuss. We've spoken privately on it and that's that. Do I think James is the devil? No. Do I think he was a young, egocentric, power-hungry guru who needed to be served a slice of humble pie the size of the fucking Empire State Building? Yes. Has he grown as a person since then? It really seems like it, and that's amazing. I'm truly happy if he's realized how his ego was affecting others, which he did address in his No More Lies video. Do I think Tati is a villain? No. I think Tati was sick of being treated like shit by so many in the beauty world and finally snapped. And damn, did she fucking snap all the way off. Holy shit. She really was like, fuck it, and beat her face for the gods and popped that ring light on and went Game of Thrones on that shit. Say what you want about her, that video, but that shit was in the history books. Fucking YouTube Rewind even gave it acknowledgement, damn. Okay, sorry, back to my rant. Do I think Jeffrey orchestrated the whole situation? No, Tati is a strong woman who made a choice. Do I think Jeffrey was also upset by some issues with the James and some things he heard behind the scenes? Yes, was Jeffrey excited to see a competitor fall? Probably, he's Jeffrey fucking star, what do you expect? I guess I missed the part where he got baptized and devoted his life to Christ. Did Jeffrey take it too far and fuck up big time by tweeting what he did? Yes, and it's one of the biggest regrets of his life. This all happened over a year ago, and I'm really sick of hearing about it and having people constantly use it as a way to keep my name and other names tagged together in drama videos. Don't get it twisted, drama will never end with a lot of these people. It's their game, their survival, their drug, and they love it. This specific drama went too far, obviously, and hopefully something like that never happens again. Putting drama in the trailer was something I regret more than anything in the world, and I'm mad that I chose T over my morals. I'm really sorry to Tati and James if me putting their drama in the series at all felt like I was reopening up wounds. Although I did speak to both of them privately about the trailer, I should have not even done it at all. Drama might be fun to watch, but it's not fun to get wrapped up in, and it's my fault for letting that happen. And I'm sick of being trapped in the middle of it. Do I think this will be the last drama involving these people? <laughs> no. No, I don't. Do I want to be involved ever again? Fuck no. Remember not to expect these gurus to maintain some high moral code. And we shouldn't have some, they must be perfect, or they're canceled mentality. The reason why you watch these people is because they are so extra, they are dramatic, and if you keep canceling them and wanting them to go away, then who will you talk about? You don't go to a circus to watch the hay on the ground, you go to watch the over-the-top performers who just want to be liked and want to do whatever they can to get your attention. If you don't want to feed into it, then don't. But before all the drama-free gurus pop off on me and say, well, I'm not involved in drama, I'm perfect. Girl, please, your top viewed videos are probably top makeup fails and anti-hauls with vomit emojis all over the screen, and that's okay. I love those videos, but let's not pretend that the beauty world isn't negativity first, makeup second. It's just how it is and I'm sick of people pretending to be so above it all. And with that said, I love watching beauty channels of all sizes and I will continue to watch and support them. The dramatic ones, the non-dramatic ones, the ones that genuinely just love to show their makeup skills. Sadly, those channels get way less views for the reasons I have stated above. So go, enjoy the gurus, enjoy the circus.
unsubscribe from me if you're mad that I'm no longer engaging in it. Unsubscribe to gurus who you don't like. Subscribe to the gurus you do like. And don't take the beauty world as seriously as I did or as so many of us did in 2019. It's not worth it. And I feel like we all lost a bit of our soul during Dramageddon. As for my channels, I'm done with the beauty world. I love what I was able to create with Jeffrey, and I'm sure people are going to assume I only did it for money, but that's not true. I just am choosing to no longer be a part of that world, and I will still watch beauty videos, buy and play with makeup, and be a part of it in my life offline. But as for being a part of the world on YouTube, I don't think that's for me. I need to get back to why I started YouTube back in 2005. And that was to make things that bring me joy, not drama, and to make movies one day. Makeup will for now just be a fun hobby. And it's for what I use to help me with my anxiety, like slime or emotional eating. And that all sounds really good to me right now. This will be my last and only addition to what I posted. Do I think it was okay for the internet to bully James? No, of course not. Not sure why some people would take that away from my post. I literally said it was too far and should never happen again. I didn't want it to get too dark in my post, which is why I didn't go into details on that. We all know collectively that the internet was too mean to James. I didn't think I needed to reiterate that. Me saying that he needed to be humbled isn't mean, it's honest. And he said that in his own video. Should the humbling have happened off camera? Yes, which I said, but I guess I didn't word that right. And I'm sorry if my humor regarding Tati's video seemed like I was making light of the situation. Humor is how I deal with stuff, especially when it involves the insanity of the beauty world. Okay, that's it. I'm leaving Twitter for a few months. It's bad for my brain. I feel good in my heart about what I said and that's all I can do. Sorry it wasn't the tea people wanted but I'm officially done with T. After sharing that, Jeffree Star ended up retweeting that and showing support by saying, please read every word. I love you, Shane. The message behind this is so important. I still have a lot of work to do on myself. So proud of you and what we've created. Being that his message was not received well, Shane Dawson ended up deleting that tweet and following up with this one. And it reads, I deleted everything, I'm done. For those who wanted me to address it, I did. I'm sure you can find it reposted somewhere, but I don't want this energy in my life or on my timeline. I'm too sensitive for this shit and I am done. Okay, honey, opinion time, opinion time. How do I feel about this? Okay, let's, I'm gonna try to be real nice about this. Shane Dawson has aptly always, always made it clear that he suffers from mental health related issues. In addition, he decides to reiterate that to people that he's too sensitive for these things because it puts himself in a very precarious mental state. All right, so we're gonna say that is true. However, babes, we can't always hide behind our mental health. I know from firsthand experience what mental health can do to a person. Additionally, I also know that a lot of people have different means of coping. Some people have been fortunate enough to find the means to cope that allows them to lead a happier and healthier life. However, I will say this to you, Shane. You have been on YouTube since 2005. I was aware of your presence early on, probably from when I was in middle school, perhaps. You mentioning your mental health, unfortunately, whether or not you intended for that to happen or not, has been a part of your branding, essentially. So if anybody knows anything about Shane Dawson, he's done some crazy stuff before. He's really talented with making up his videos. But in addition to that, his branding is being poor and being sad and depressed okay so that's that's essentially what we know about shane dawson my whole thing is i just wish that you would have said from the jump that you were not interested in being a part of the beauty community except for the fact that you wanted to make bank I would have respected you more. I'm sure a hell of a lot of people would have respected you more. On top of that, you want to mention how the beauty community is full of all these drama-loving individuals. I don't know 
honey. Unfortunately, the biggest ones are kind of like that, but the beauty community is full of non-problematic individuals who just hone in on their craft, make these videos, share their talents with other people. Not everything is about the drama. And unfortunately, since you are surrounded by the top guys, these are the ones that love to be in the midst of drama. And I'm not understanding how you like to say that you're not a part of the drama and you don't like this and you don't like that. However, some of the people that you associate yourself have been some of the most problematic individuals. And you know what? I can't fault you who you decide to be friends with. However, I do not appreciate you pretending as if you did not know about who they were publicly before you became their friends privately. Now for this part, I'm gonna be a middleman, so to speak, and I'm going to say to you guys that James Charles, yes, he was a teenager, but we cannot pick and choose when to hold somebody accountable for their actions because essentially when James Charles is 19, everybody and their mothers can go on and on and on about how we have to protect him as a youth and we have to be mindful that this is what damaging things that people have done to them, but on the flip side, Side, when Jeffrey was doing his bad and dirty deeds back when he was about 17, 18, 19, and then all the way up until 23, that's when everybody is like, oh no, we don't give him a chance. He should have known better. So I, I'm going to need people to be a little bit more consistent. Personally speaking, my viewpoint, and I'm going to back this up by science, science dictates that your brain does not fully develop until about 25 and 26. So your frontal lobe, which is basically responsible for all of your decision making skills, has not fully come together. That being said, I'm not going to condone a lot of behaviors because some people should know what's right and what's wrong. However, I'm going to give them a little bit of a chance, all right, to figure everything out. That being said, some things don't change about people. I'm sure through activities we can see whether or not Jeffree Star has changed, we can see whether or not James Charles has changed. The way people go about canceling people, I really don't feel like it actually helps the person to improve. Rather, I think it just helps them to hide their crap better than before. Honestly, I'm frustrated about the whole situation because Shane, I just felt like you let a lot of people down in reference to you dissociating yourself with the beauty community. If you gotta do what you gotta do for your mental health and whatever what have you but truth be told I'm gonna say it because a lot of people aren't saying it directly you were never technically speaking a part of the beauty community you just made a makeup line and unfortunately or fortunately it's due to your friendships with certain individuals that's what dragged you into this but it had nothing to do with your place and your influence within this community that being said you made a beauty channel all the way back in November and you have not done anything it's been a hot minute since you've created that shane glosson account and from my understanding that account was created with the intention of sharing more beauty related things you've uploaded i think a total of three times and it's really just become your junk channel anything that you want to throw away has appeared on that channel and really and truly can you really consider yourself a beauty influencer and have you really committed to actually going ahead and sharing your growth within the community as you learn and develop and hone in on your skills as a makeup artist or not even as a makeup artist as just somebody who really enjoys makeup i don't understand why that part was so difficult for you because in reality shane a lot of people love you a lot of people like you a lot of people at least respect you and if they don't do all of that they definitely enjoy watching you to see what other shenanigans you get yourself into that being said you really only had to just sit in front of a camera and put some stuff on your face and people would have been satisfied i understand that a lot of these comments hurt you but even if one tenth of the people have given you negative comments and negative feedback 90 percent of your audience is out there supporting you and loving you and propelling you forward so i don't want you to necessarily feed into that negativity but you do you boo at this point in time i thought it was completely necessary to include what luscious massacre had to say on this matter the girls honey the girls the girls are starting to crack karma is real they ruined james's career by perpetuating lies seriously vile lies and now they want to distance themselves from the beauty community after they cashed in hypocrites and you decided to leave twitter for a couple of months because you know the memory of the internet is short 
and it's probably gonna take maybe two weeks for people to forget about this and move on to something else because that's typically how the drama community works. It gets old real fast. I don't know. Guys, just let me know how you feel in the comment section about this little discussion that we had here. How do you feel about Shane Dawson in reference to him leaving the community? Do you feel like Jeffree Star's support was actually necessary in this endeavor? And do you feel as if the beauty community is getting tired of the same drama and different stuff? Truth be told, I will say that I don't think that Shane Dawson was a part of drama again in one or two or whatever the case may be. I don't really know the numbers anymore because they all just blur into one, to be honest with you. Next time, I love you, Kate. Bye!